Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. And my name is Donna and I make videos about stationery and paper products because let's just call it what it is. It's an obsession. Oh, I know it's been a while. Um, and I, it hasn't been that long, but uh, long enough that it feels awkward to be sitting here again. Um, I travel, I'll give you a little update and then I'll show you what's going on here on my desk. This is need to be, hold on, let me adjust this. Okay. Um, I went to Arizona for a wedding. You may have seen pictures of me on Instagram, uh, just dancing in the desert. We had a blast. And it's just very different from the, the weddings here in New York. They're very posh and um, not that this wedding wasn't posh, but it's like, you know, it's, it's like barn glam. I don't know what to call it. But it was absolutely stunning. We had such a fun time. Um, and then when I, and I got to see family while I was there. And when we came back, uh, my husband and I both got a little sick, just a little head cold, nothing. It wasn't Ovid K, relax. Um, but I did have a sinus infection, which lasted for like over two weeks, two, three weeks. And usually I, I, take antibiotics if it's like an acute infection, but I've been on antibiotics for a few other things and I didn't want to take them again if I didn't have to. So I just struggled through, but you know, there was a lot of brain fog that came along with that. Um, and then after that, I got food poisoning, which is all good. It's fine. This is really just to say that don't, I'm not whining. I don't need prayers and sympathy. I'm all good. Um, but it's a PSA because this has happened to me in the past where I got to the point where I couldn't hold down water. I even a sip of water came, came back up and sorry, not to be gross, but, um, yeah. So when you get to that point, if you can't hold down water, you need to get to the ER because you will start to get dehydrated, um, very quickly if you, um, can't. And like I said, this has happened to me before, so I went straight to the emergency room and they gave me, I was there for a while and they gave me uh, three bags of fluids and yeah, they fixed me right up. <laughs> Moving on from that. Uh, so obviously I wasn't filming I, at points. I even stayed off my phone. I couldn't look at anything that resembled food or drink without getting queasy. Um, and now things are like back to normal. So I've been on a no spend since before Christmas with the exception of maybe a few stickers and some uh, tabs for my weeks. I picked up these little uh, uh, tab things. I'll show you these in a second. Um, I've just been trying to be very mindful of my spending. And then of course they released the Traveler's Notebook in Olive that I have been waiting for for years. And so, oh, oh, they released it while I was in the hospital, which, you know, tiny. Are you freaking kidding me? I was able to snag a passport size, which I'm happy enough to get. I'm still going to look for uh, the standard size because uh, it's been on my wish list for years. But I'm not going to get crazy about purchasing it. Uh, I've you know, I refuse to pay the extortion prices on like eBay and everywhere else. It's just no thing is worth that. Yes, it's nice and it's fun, but you know, a journal is not going to change your life. Journaling will change your life, but a specific journal will not change your life. You know, to have that um, FOMO of missing out on the one, there's always going to be another one. <laughs> Don't get crazy about it. Anyway, that's my, all in my humble opinion. Uh, 
so what else has been going on oh um yeah and with my no spend i haven't been buying any pens or ink and i just lied because i did buy an ink last week but it's something i really really don't have anything like it in my collection i think all right it was like 20 bucks so all right, I'm not gonna show that now. I'll show that in another video. And this is not new. I actually, have, I've had this pen for like six months. This is um, the Platinum uh, Curados. And I can't show you the clicky thing because I've been using, I use this for work. So that's why I, I've never shown it like on my channel or even on my Instagram or in my journals because it's always with my work stuff, which, and it just has a basic blue ink in here. And um, it was actually the cartridge that came with it, but it was starting to write dry. So I opened it up to, I have lotion on my hands now, so I'm not going to be able to, um, I'm trying to wipe everything off. Yeah, it's going to be hard to open with. Um, so I tried to disassemble it. I mean, I had to disassemble it once before when I put the uh, cartridge in. Um but I broke the spring that was in here and we tried to wrap it around a pen and um, rebend it. It's just, you can't get it back to normal and it won't fit back in uh, the mechanism. So uh, inside the pen barrel. So I'm looking for a spring to replace this. So if you have any ideas where I can get this? I contacted Platinum and they haven't gotten back to me yet. I can still technically use the pen, but um, let me show you one piece of paper. But, oops. okay. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be, it's almost dried up. So I can still use it, but now I can't use this. And to close it, I have to tap on that and I can retract the nib that way. But, you know, it's kind of a hassle and I don't wanna keep jabbing the nib, even though I try to do it softly. Um, so help anybody who knows where I can get a spring for this. Uh, somebody on Instagram mentions taking the springs out of the uh, click pens and I have like five of them and they're all too small um, so that does not work so that's what's been going on in my pen world and journal world I have been using um, this is my DIY um, cover from my Hobonichi Weeks I made this and if you want to see um, if you want to see it, I have a video. I'll link the video down below. What did I just do with my pen? Here we go. Um, you know, I didn't do anything special with the inside. I didn't, didn't make any pockets or anything like that. It was just my first attempt. But I really like how it came out. I just found this butterfly in a thrift store. So I think I might put that in there. Um, so I've been using this for my Hobonichi Weeks. And that's a deer for Christmas to remind me not to press. <laughs> Look, I put a note in there. Don't procrastinate. Start pre prepping for Advent and Christmas because uh, I do. So, um, yeah, I've been loving this journal cover. And the other journal cover I have, you saw this. I purchased this. Back in November, but I didn't get it till the end of January. This is my Moterm, and I'm actually using this with the um, Sweet Freckle Designs uh, Weekly Planner, and I'm using this for um, an ink journal diary. So um, the inks that I'm using for the month, it's nice listed, so I can go back and see what I was using back in. It started. I used started using this in January. Because uh, I think I got it at the end of January. So what I was using in February, what I'm using currently in March. Uh, these were samples from uh, my pen friend, Gail. And, um, and then in the back, I'm sort of logging in the back notes section. I'm 
sort of logging some testing of some of the inks. This was a sample from Gail. Look at the sheen and the shimmer on that winter spice. Isn't that pretty? I hope it's getting it. I'm in front of the window, so you should be able to see that. This was from Gail, too. And, oh. Some St. Patrick's Day. The greens. So that's it. So I'm using this. I usually use a few notebooks, um, standard size notebooks, but I don't know. I'm just trying this for, for now, and I like it, and I like seeing everything visually right in front of me. Um, so that's what I've been using my Motown, my Motown for. And what else? Uh, my Jillio. I'm still doing this, but I have to do some um, back journaling in this. I have lots of ephemera and stuff like that from when I traveled um, and from the wedding. So I want to put all of that in there, which I haven't. And this is my um, faith journaling that's going on right now. I'm doing a Lenten study. I actually did this last year and I'm redoing it. And I'm just putting all the notes in this um, uh, Oasis notebook. And then I have my Rhodia notebook that's for um, Bible study and uh, catechism of the church. And the last thing that I've been journaling in is my journal prompts from Gail, from Gail's Bookish Things. Oh, wait, back up one second. These are the tabs that I bought for the Hobonichi Weeks because I keep, I couldn't put more tabs in the back for all of the note sections that I keep because I like to keep the pen right there. It doesn't have a pen loop. Um, so I purchased uh, these tabs so that I could put a few tabs up on top for the ones that I'm always uh, reaching for, which are... Um, inky things, um, places I like to go and see, um, like some local areas and stuff. And I, I have post-its over that because I don't want to like put that out there. Um, and quotes that I'm liking right now and books that I'm reading. So I wanted tabs up on top so I could easily access those instead of putting them here on the side. And I keep some regular note paper in here in case there's things I have to like write down, but I don't want to use my good Obanichi. I don't want to waste the papers. Oh, we're so silly, aren't we? And the last thing, this is so chatty, I'm sorry. Um, and the last thing is, like I started to say, my journal prompts from Gail's Bookish Things. She's doing a prompt challenge. She gives a prompt challenge every week and it's, uh, the hashtag is, I think 52 sevens or something. I'll put that down below too. And, um, yeah, so I, and I started this in an A6, like a notebook in this. Actually, it may have been this notebook. I don't remember which one I started it in, but <clears throat> I realized right away that I turn every like journal thing into a project. So I knew the A6 was not gonna have enough room because I start, you know, putting tip-ins and um, stickers and doodles and magazine spreads and all this kind of stuff. And um, uh, where was I going? Sorry, I said I'm um, like 15 times. I'm really sorry about that. Uh, again, see, I just said it again. I'll try to cut it out. I'm sorry. And I should do a flip of this, I guess. Maybe it's kind of like a way to get to know people. My candy. Um, I don't know. Let me know if you'd like, if you'd like to hear <laughs> what I think about the journal prompts. I don't know. Are we doing that? All right. We'll talk about it another time. Anyway, uh, that's what's new with me. 
I've also done some thrifting lately and some ephemera collecting. And if you'd like to see any of that, let me know down below. And I just hope you're all well. And thanks so much for hanging out with me and listening to me ramble a bit. And I hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Bye.